Hey folks, hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another episode from Life on Living Well channel. My name is Richard, I am a life uh, purpose coach and I'm also a motivational coach. Um, if you have any question, please feel free to send me an email at info at life for living well the info again the email address is info at life for living well the info uh, i hope this particular episode helps someone and if you have any question feel free to write me and enjoy it and thank you for listening and watching it thank you Hello, welcome back to another message from Life for Living Well. And the topic of the message I have today is what is a friendship? What is a friend? And what are the benefits of having a good quality friend? The reason why I'm doing this particular video is I recently uh, asked or been told about lady that I have a friend for two years and one of her friends just ghosted her and she just stopped re replying to her text or pick up her call without really explaining why brought the friendship to the end. Why I empathize with her, there's another better way of dealing with issue like this but this is not a one-off, this is becoming something more uh, randomly and popular are common now you know next way yes people don't actually uh, need to explain to you why they decided that they don't want to be part of your life anymore it might be that you get to a stage in your life that you have to go different paths but a decent thing is to just say that person that you no longer want to be friend anymore no matter how it's difficult to say or just tell them you want to spend more time with yourself you don't need to explain yourself you don't want to because i don't know the level of relationship this particular person had with a friend i really can't comment more than that but i wanted to focus on the bigger pictures of uh of the message that what is a friend so and for those who are being in this world for a while at one point or the other you will have savage some connection that you have with other, some people and then you will have worked so hard to ensure that the other relationship you have is functioning well in your life so that there are so many benefits of having a healthy and good relationship in our life so this particular message i'm going to put the the description of a good friendship by using a philosophy and also citing some spiritual text within the even though this is not a religious message but this is just a self-development message and being a personal coach and being a life purpose coach one of my job is to take a some some story that have bearing in a current life or can use the practicality of that story into our current life is to bring that into the story so this is where i'm going to look at it i'm using aristotle way of definition of friendship and also we at one point i will try to read out some extraction that i 
wrote down from other books that I can use to support what is the good quality friendship look like. So the problem with friendship these days is most people expect so much on kind of friendship that they have that they are not able to take a step back and look into the condition of that friendship and see whether this friendship and the people that form this friendship are actually capable to provide the kind of connection they want. Let's say somebody that wants a deeper trust connection with another person and the other person need to have that person in their life is just to have somebody to keep their company from being alone. So they are not really looking into the character or the virtues of that person. So what happened is these kind of people, they tend to pay the same price for everything. Let's say somebody that doesn't know the values of the character you brought into their life. What they tend to do is they tend to pay the same price they pay for brows, let's say the bronze, I'm sorry, for, for the bronze, for the silver, for the diamond. But if you are diamond and you know what your value is, it is impossible to allow another person to devalue you. But because a lot of people don't really spend time to develop their own virtues and their own character, they tend to just mellow along in order they have somebody in their life. I'll give you one example. One day, a group of acquaintances invited me to join them for a dinner, which I accepted. So being the dinner and we, they started four of us. So we started talking and one of the, one of the girls started making fun about the other girl, uh, weight, how big she is. And obviously, you can see in her face that she was so uncomfortable with it. So I turned to the other person sat beside me and I said, how come she allowed her to talk to her that way? The other person just shrugged his shoulder I said it wasn't a big deal. So I turned to the, uh, to the lady that she's been picked on and I asked her, how come you allow someone to talk to you this way and she said to me oh i knew she has a good intention so i left it but two months later it everything just blow out of proportion so i later find out that she wasn't happy with it at all but she didn't want to make a fuss about it because she needed to appear strong in order to be continue to be Part of the group so she allowed her own self-esteem to be suffer in order to have a friend so at the end she has so much resentment so much anger inside and there is no so the opportunity for intimacy i just shut down for that moment so now let's come back to aristotle definition of friends and i kind of want to use the same issue that happened thousand years ago, the same issue we have today. And I'm quite sure that for Aristotle to finally sat down and come to this conclusion is, is because of the problem and the challenges in the society and everyone wants the connection. And personally, in my experience, so much stuff that I've done in my life was able to happen because I had the right friends, right people in my life. It's not something that I've done by myself alone. And, and, and that shows me that there is a good reason to have a good friends in our life. But we, this kind of good friend, they're not just going to happen by accident. So let's go back to Aristotle's definition of friendship. Aristotle divide their friend into three groups. So the first group is the friendship that based on pleasure. So we see this all the time. The best example I can give you is people that you met through some activities 
that you share together. So the place that you share together, you have the connection and you come together to share your time together. So you, your friend that wants to go hiking, it takes you along. So these are friends, this is a friendship that based on pressure. I, or for the another area you can look at it is to look at it in a romantic relationship where one person or two persons decided to be in relationship but they are not really committed to each other but they are just there to give each other a physical pleasure just a friend will benefit and this is another way that if you don't put your expectation to what you should be expecting this kind of friendship if you open to look for a deeper connection you are setting yourself for a massive disappointment and the second group that Aristotle identify is friendship based on utility these are friendships that are very common at work or business or even in politics show me who you know then I can pick you I can raise you I can make you have a connection to other people so this is very common where uh, you decided to have a trophy wife because how, how it look on you and how people see you or people that go out that wanted to be in relationship with people that have a uh, big title on superficial level things. So there's always a trade-off. So there's something that this individual offer you in return in order to be in relationship. Aristotle concluded that this kind of friendship are very imbalanced and this kind of friendship doesn't have a longevity at all you are just there to serve each serve one person or the other until they are tired of you and one day there will be a conflict of interest and all of a sudden they will throw you under the bus so that take me to the last and the third friendship that Aristotle mentioned and um, most religious texts back up this kind of friendship and in my life I can categorically say I'm a very lucky person that I have two people in my life that I can consider a true brother or a true sister so this third one Aristotle call it a friendship based on virtues so this is the catch for this relationship to happen in your life, it's not just going to happen in three months, in one year. You yourself have to develop the character that the other person will carry with them. Because the friend that is honest, it will be difficult for that friend to keep this honest person in his life. A friend that is loyal, it will be so difficult for him to keep this loyal person in his life. The friend that is protecting his friend, it will be so difficult for him to keep somebody that gossiping and spreading bad news behind him. So you get the catch. So the catch is to have a virtuous friend. You yourself have to become virtuous. You have to develop a character that will be able to help you attract this kind of person into your life. Because only when you have this kind of person, your life will bloom. Your life will experience calmness. Your life will experience joy. Your life will experience pleasure. And unfortunately, not unfortunately, fortunately, this kind of friend, you actually meet them through the two previous unbalanced friendships that I mentioned to you. You meet them through some kind of utility, maybe at work maybe at business maybe as well but because of the virtues of character we allow your relationship to involve with time so let's see what other texts said about this kind of friendship so i'm going to read from some of my i wrote something down and i want to read from it so uh so one text said an insincere or evil friend is more to be feared than a white beast. Why is that? So the wise guy, the wise man claimed that the wise beast will destroy your physical body, but the evil friend will destroy your mind. 
and I've seen this unfortunately when people are afraid to be alone they allow some kind of people that actually damage their self-esteem and their self-worth so they lower themselves in order to just be part of a group so they are suffer more rather than being on their own so they suffer more by keeping friends that they are not actual friends in their life people that are actually using them so they they really put themselves that that it's better for them to have someone that have nobody another test i read for you it is better to live alone so there is no friendship with a fool that's another another word so another one i'm going to read out for you is two true friends are like stars you don't always see them but you know they are there it's true so like i said before and i'm sure that some of you that are watching this video today if you only just invest to one friend make sure you seek out one particular friend that carry this character of honesty integrity trustworthiness loving kindness not somebody that say a loving word but their actions are unlovable so and it's better to have a warm friend that are reliable thoughtful and honest than having the hundreds of friends that you cannot rely on them they were just there for a time and when that when you are not able to serve their ego they're going to throw you on the bus and if i read more from the text uh, the most valuable gift you can receive is an honest friend i totally think this is true and in my life when i have some challenges in life in my personal life in my professional life the people that beside me that i say are really true friends i once have uh, someone in my life that i consider was a friend but obviously was a friendship that based on utility so i thought that it was a bachelor friend but it was a friendship that based on utility and the things about knowing your friend is the time we the situation the things will happen in your life that you will see who is your friend most people will take side of each other to protect their own ego their own image but the things we happen in your life so don't be angry when wrong thing happen in your life it gives you amazing opportunity to choose who is your friend and who is not your friend so if i read a few more passage from that i wrote down if you go looking for a friend you are going to find they are very scarce if you go out to be a friend you will find them everywhere that's what Sig Ziglar said and and that's true as well so now if i read two more from the religious passage before i bring the video to the end a man who has friend must be himself be friendly but there is a friend who stick closer than a brother another last one a faithful friend is a strong defense and he that finds such an one i'll find a treasure so what i'm trying to say is that there's nothing wrong having a friendship based on utility because that's what the world gave us that's what you will find most in the world there's no there's nothing wrong having a friend based on pleasure that's what you find most in the world but personally i no longer invest so much of my energy on utility friendship or pleasure friendship I do have some friends that I enjoy their company, that I do take, but I don't really invest so much of my time on utility friends or pleasure friends. I am now investing my most of my quality time with a friendship that based on virtues. And I have two people like that in my life. And I'm grateful for able to have these kind of people in my life because what they brought into my life is money can buy it is priceless so what i'm the only thing i'm going to tell you today is raise your vibration 
begin to work on your own personal virtues, begin to work on your own character, let your work be trustworthy, be dignified. So don't talk or gossiping about your friend behind them when they do something that you don't like. Don't go to other friends and spread uh, bad uh, rumors of your friends because behavior like that show that you are not actually a friendly person. So it is important you work on your own character, on your own virtues. When you develop your own character and your own virtues, then you are ready to have friends on the same level where you can have a reciprocal of a goodwill according to Aristotle. And like I said to you, the same to the same attitude you can take into other relationship, like a romantic relationship, like a business relationship, where people that you dealing with, they can really trust you, they can really work with you. So I hope this video helps someone. And if you have any question more about this, please write me at info at lifeforlivingwear.info. I'm really grateful and thank you for listening and watching this uh, particular episode today. Whatever you do, my my wish for you today is you able to have a one good friend that you can call like brother or sister eventually in your life. Be patient and everything's going to be good. Thank you.